Good morning, Wareham. What's up, BLA? Uh, so, for the rest of the week, since you worked so hard on your um, benchmark for Monday and Tuesday, we're going to do something with plays and drama, so it's kind of going to be fun. However, you actually need this for MCAS, because they actually ask questions on it and use uh, drama on some of their text for um, the MCAS questions. So, that's kind of cool. So, uh, we're doing putting on a play, and, th and, and this will teach you basically the vocabulary and, and some of the parts of a play that you, you need to know. And uh, then we'll read a play tomorrow, and you'll answer more questions about what you need to know about parts of a play and so on. And the big cool thing is we're going to do plenty of stuff with theater later. Tons of it. We, we do a lot, actually, more than most. But as far as MCAS go, we just want to get the requirements done for what you need to know for that test. But we will immerse ourselves in fun drama where we're learning and having fun later in the year. All right? So let's just do that for the remainder of the week. It'll be kind of a fun... It'll be work, but less work compared to the intensive work that you did Monday, Tuesday. All right, so here we go. Putting on a play by Carolyn Trout. Here's the key vocabulary. Let's get ready. Get ready for your buzzers. Dialogue. Beep. Conversation between characters in a play. Ding. Performance. Beep. A show. Ding. Scenes. Beep. Short sections of a play. Script. Beep. A written copy of a play. Ding. Stage directions. Beep. Written information about action in a play. Ding. Stage. Beep. The raised platform where actors perform. Ding. Version. Beep. One form of something. Ding. Watching a play can be a lot of fun, but it takes hard work and careful planning to put on a good play. People can spend months getting ready for a big performance. Getting started. Every play begins with a written story or script. It might be an adventure with a brave hero or a musical with lots of songs. It might be a serious drama or a comedy. A writer, a director, and an actor work on a script. The director reads the script carefully. Then it's time to find actors to play each part. People come to try out for the parts. They stand or sit on the stage where the director can see them. Bright lights shine down on them. They speak lines of dialogue or conversation from the script. They may show off their singing and dancing skills too. Then the director chooses the best actors. Next, it's time to start practicing for the performance. Actors have to learn all of their lines of dialogue by heart. The script has stage directions. They explain how the characters are supposed to act and where they should move on the stage. Stage directions are in parentheses on a script. Anything in parentheses in a script would usually be stage directions. Preparing the stage. Set designers plan what the stage will look like. 
a stage set may show a house or forest with fake trees. Sometimes set designers need to make several different stage sets for different scenes or parts of the play. The set designers draw pictures of the sets they want. They pick colors and lighting that fit the play. Then a crew of workers builds and paints the sets. Another crew puts up lights. One more crew creates special sounds for the performance. Others find furniture or other items for the stage. Costumes and makeup. Actors wear costumes and makeup to help make their characters seem real. A costume maker creates the clothes the actors wear. The clothes need to fit the time and mood of the play. My wife used to be a costume designer for the American Repertory Theater. And uh, she would design costumes and sets and so she did a lot of this work. Makeup artists can make the actors look older or younger or funny or scary. They can give actors a wig or a beard or a whole new nose. Like that one, a big nose. He's playing Cyrano de Bergerac, a famous uh, play. Putting it all together. The night before a play's first performance, the actors put on their costumes and practice the whole play from start to finish. This is very close to the version or form of the play that the audience will see tomorrow. The director gives everyone final directions and advice. Opening night is finally here. Audience members find their seats in the theater. The cast is ready and waiting backstage. The lights go out. The curtain goes up. It's showtime. Okay, so you're just gonna do the sheet and uh, just so you can learn what parts of a play are. All right? We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Break a leg.